and for fun, and always play. The newest, friendliest, and safest casino resort and spa is calling. Morongo is calling. Good times. A few years back, when law firms were afraid of Uber and Lyft accident cases, we took them on and became leaders representing rideshare accident victims. Our results speak for themselves, and we're more prepared than ever to help you. We've recovered millions for our clients, and we will continue to do so. If you're in an Uber or Lyft accident, we're the only call you need to make. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. So in honor of my tiny tacos, I made tiny versions of us. I think they look great. Right? I need new friends. Trauma Tasty Tiny Tacos. Download the Jack app today. So there you were, finally making some headway when the whole landscape changes. That's when you can use an old friend like Speedy Cash, your bridge over troubled waters. Speedy Cash, we're here for you online and in store. Wednesday at 11, vacation starved travelers may want to try their luck in Las Vegas, but is now the right time? We look at deals, which shows have returned, and what are the COVID protocols? The Vegas Gamble, Wednesday at 11 on CBS2 News. Sky 9 Map Tracker, real time street mapping, the latest in breaking news coverage. Pursuits, fires, floods, see exactly where breaking news is happening with Sky 9 Map Tracker on KCAL 9 News. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 9. It's just a perfect storm of a, of a fire that's going to be very challenging to, to contain and to control. Now at 9, breaking news. The Aliesel Fire north of Santa Barbara explodes in size. Flames are threatening homes and forced a shutdown of the 101. Plus, a controversial move from the FDA for the first time ever. The agency is authorizing the sale of certain e-cigarettes, but what about the risk to kids? And tonight, grim details about Gabby Petito's final moments revealed. A coroner provides new information about how she died and when. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 9, and we're streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. I'm Juan Fernandez. Tonight, a seismic change in the tobacco industry. For the first time ever, the Food and Drug Administration has authorized several e-cigarette products. Smokers say this means a healthier option. But many are concerned about the message this is sending to kids. Tom Waite is live in Studio City to explain for us. Hey, Tom. Hi there, Juan. Yeah, there are some mixed messages here, but the FDA says they did this in part because they're hoping to get some adults who are addicted to cigarettes, conventional ones, to switch to e-cigarettes, and that may eventually help wane them off smoking altogether. For the first time ever, the FDA is authorizing e-cigarette products. The federal agency is giving R.J. Reynolds permission to sell three of its Views vape products, while denying permission for 10 of the company's flavored products. Bilal Shatila is with the California Smoke and Vape Association. He says the FDA's decision gives people a healthier option. Me personally, I smoked a pack of Marlboro Reds a day for probably eight years straight, and it's been about four years since I've been on vape and it's not even a question you know when I don't have cigarettes around and I have access to vapes it you know satisfies my nicotine addiction craving whatever you want to call it but are vapes safer than cigarettes so I don't think what what they're saying is that e-cigarettes are safe Dr. Ray Kasheri is a pulmonologist at